Hi, Anti. Hope you hope you're doing well. Hope you didn't get catch the sickness from Pound Dog. Okay, let's jump in, dude. Game number one. We're getting ready to see some sick smash action here. Welcome to Loser's Final. Winner goes on, loser goes home. Jewel versus Utopian Ray, the Ray Train. Again, not stopping for anyone. Jewel, however, looking to make some magic happen here at Pokemon Stadium. And right out the gate, you know, Utopian Ray is doing a fantastic job of just going for these, leaning towards these edge guards, right? Not really allowing Jewel to have any sort of the stage space. And again, it's kind of crazy seeing Utopian Ray bust out Joker. Yet again, he was playing Palutena just fine in the previous game, but maybe he didn't want to fight fighting against Roy with uh, the likes of Joker. The one who doesn't have that much of range. Yes, he has a dagger, but is it actually going to be able to help him out in that sword game? But against Robin, feels a little bit more comfortable. Arsene's almost on deck. And speak of the devil, there he is. Indeed. Is that a devil or an angel? That's uh, either way, heaven or hell. This is dual one, and Utopian Ray says, let's rock. We blaze blue. I mean, this is blaze blue cross. You know, like, we got, uh, you know, personas in that game, too, so. That's uh, probably where he's going to. That, that's actually Guilty, guilty Gear. Gear. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah know, I know. I was just trying I'm, to go for the other anime fighting game, okay, hey, man? Shout out, to, shout out to Arc System, yeah. either way. <laughs> You can't, you can't escape from crossing face, but you can take some time out to play some Smash. I feel it, dude. Absolutely. Utopian Ray trying to even things up, uh, or trying to maintain the lead, rather. Jewel he looking to get his teeth. Yeah. Almost died. Now, you got the Nosferatu coming in. He'll be able to absorb some free health. I like that he saw that coming, just absorbed it, using Rebel's Guard to turn that into a full charge for Arsene. Now, with Joker having that Arsene, it's going to give him access to a new move, Wings of Rebellion, to get back onto the stage. Really good recovery, but going to be able to catch that lead jump back air from Jewel, calling out all the stops from Ray's Joker. And Arsene's going to take a little bit of visit to pocket. Now, Utopian Ray with a slight lead. Good neutral air, which has quite a bit of startup time. It's not the, it's not the general get back you know, get off me nair that a lot of characters have that uh, seems to be a staple of so many people's sets. It's, uh, it, it, it can give you a little bit of space, but you can't really just kind of pull it out whenever you see the person approaching. It's very similar to Shulk's Nair. You know, like it has a little bit of startup, but it's pretty good once it finally comes out. And again, you know, speaking of coming out, Arsene's back on stage. Going to go for that Aegon and just try to force Jewel a little bit of backing space because you see how much distance that spell actually goes, acro goes across the entirety or like half of Pokemon Stadium too. Really good curse spell coming out, going for the back air again. Tries to finish him off with all these back airs. Back air being a really solid choice for an offstage edge pressure because of how quick it is and how strong it is, especially with Arsene backing it up. It's not a half bad option without Arsene, quite honestly. It provides quite a bit of knockback. It allows you to set up or perhaps trying to get that kill in another fashion. It However, combos that low percent as well, which is really nice. But now you see him sitting at 118%, again, trying to get that down air offstage. I think that was grappling hook that got. I'm not sure what the what exchange just happened there. And I see him chilling back off stage. Wants to run off the platform and go for that back air, playing a little bit more safe. Oh, he's, he's, he's playing cheeky now. You see Morgana coming out. Oh, the truest combo in the game, Austin. And just taunt, taunt to what though? Yeah, there you go. There you go, there you go man. 133% on Jules Robin. Absolutely. Now this is the thing. Whenever you don't have Arsene, it could be a little uncomfortable to get that kill. But now, no problems whatsoever. Going to go back off stage. Going to respect that up because he's hugging onto that wall. Gets back onto the stage. A great parry coming out, but goes for the incorrect punish. You see that down tilt. Not able to connect that hit. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to commentary team combos, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Looking to get that kill on Jewel, sitting at 168%, and eventually uh, that down tilt will secure the jet. Okay, we get it. Joker's looking cool, noted. And again, the down tilt. The oh. thing, <laughs> the, the down tilt is really strong because Jewel like go with the ledge, so if you try to like cast a spell, but then he had to re grab, thus losing all of his invincibility, gonna be able to get that kill with the down tilt. Arson adding in that extra knockback to get the kill. 86% on Ray. Here we go. Trying to chill on that platform, looking for this opening while respecting all the projectiles that Jewel's throwing out. I think he wanted to run off with that forward air, not just go for that dash attack on the middle of the platform. And now Jewel's doing a fantastic job not letting him land down on the ground. But Rebel's Guard coming in to summon out Arsene. His main persona gets caught by the runoff platform back air. Levin Sword sealing that first stock, and Jewel's going to move this on to game two with a 1 0 lead. Absolutely. A nice back air. Nice back air. Take a shot. And. Jewel finds himself with the 1 0 lead, did quite well to earn it. And uh, there are a lot of things that obviously these uh, these two are searching for confirms into back air. But uh, I feel like really the advantage would have to go to Jewel just because he's had more time to lab out uh, what exactly uh, what exactly combos into back air. 
Like, just that's the nature of time itself. Joker has not been out for long enough. It's not deterring Utopian Ray from uh, from going back to it as he goes to uh, as he goes to Battlefield for game number two. Well, fun fact: uh, back air combos into back air, combos into back air. You can kind of just drag it around, very similar to how like Roy would combo uh, forwarders back in the Smash Four days. And so, you know, you, as long as you got that, you can eventually get this kill. You saw him charging that Rebel's Guard for such a long time, and then Jewel just went for the jab, tried to charge up that meter as fast as possible. But you know what? It, it just could be a little bit of matchup inexperience. I'm pretty sure Jewel's never fought a Joker in bracket before. There could be an opportunity where he was, but, P, you know, that arc fire can be very similar to PK fire from Ness. It allows him to be able to get some confirms off of it. I mean, this is our first tournament with patch 3.0, so it would make sense. It just uh, it just bears to reason. Looking for that down air, uh, trying to two frame on Jewel. Cheeky stuff, and I do like it. The, the fact is that he probably wasn't going to get it, but you still need to, to throw it out and have him respect the option. However, put some respect on the name of Robin's back air. Yeah, I mean, that Levin Sword back air, strong as hell, dude. It's going to be able to kill you at very low percent. And, you know, Ray, it looks like Ray's just having some trouble getting back down to the ground. Whenever Jewel gets some airborne, he doesn't really know which option to go for just yet. Yes, you always have Rebel's Guard, which is very similar to, like, going for Focus as Ryu or Ken. But if you do it every single time, Jewel's going to catch on to that. So Ray's just trying to look at how, you know, which options to go for. Because right now, that stage is being dominated by Jewel. You see him going for the forward air, but busting out Arsene yet again. It was, I, that was like a miss input. Maybe he just thought he was going to roll right afterwards. Gets caught by the backer. That actually killed from center stage. That looked like suspect DI going out from Jewel, man. A, a little a little bit, but uh, that can uh, we, we can look at that at, uh, at some other juncture. Right now, Jewel has got to live in the present, and certainly we'll have to deal with Utopian Ray right here and now in the edge guarding game. However, a little, little easier not having to deal with Joker, or uh, excuse me, with Arsene. And honestly, Ray was doing a fantastic job. He could have potentially got this early game if he just kept up the pressure. Did not expect Jewel to just hold left that entire time and go completely for center stage. Like, that's one of the most unsafe options Robin could go for. So Ray didn't see it coming. So again, down tilt at a shield. Good for just popping Jewel up into the air. Try to make his opponent go airborne and, you know, continue these uh, ravage combos. Is that an intentional reference, or...? Didn't see it coming. Uh, yeah. it, it, it wasn't. Oh, it fair. wasn't. Fair. You're, you're just that good, man. I'm the, I'm, I'm you're just that good. I'm trying not to overuse that meme. Yeah, as much no. as, like, I thought after day two of commentary, I, don't, I never wanted to say that on the mic ever again. That was completely accident. My bad, guys. I mean, the thing is, is that you've kind of absolved yourself, and I've just been throwing out puns. That usually carries me. I hate um, puns. So I actually, if you ever see me do a pun, it's usually ironically or it's on accident. Okay, here we go. Right. <laughs> oh, man. 77% versus 91 gets the arc fired in Nosferatu. Keep the combos going. Oh, my. not having any of that. You saw that? Runs up there, up smashes. Morgana's going to cheer for his boy. Holy smokes, man. Utopian Ray. Hang on. Going to be able to rack on that damage. Oh. But it doesn't matter how much damage you have, you're going to get caught by that back air off stage. That's the cool part about Aegon. You know, it has that little bit of curse damage right afterwards. It's going to keep uh, adding on more and more damage over time. But being able to go for the interaction, he thought he was going to swing good oh patience. My. And that's Jewel. what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Big Punisher indeed. Still not a player, but you're still a hater, says Jewel, who moves on to Grands in the elimination bracket. And here's the finishing touch. The coup de grace administered by Jewel just a little late on that Rebel's Guard. He drops it, and then he strikes. Yeah, the thing is, you cannot hold Rebel's Guard forever, so Utopian Ray went for the most optimal punish. He was just waiting for it to wear off, and once it did, he had a force smash come in his way. Again, people like were that have trouble against Rebel's Guard, like maybe some people have had in the past since they're not used to the character, you got to remember that eventually, just treat it like a focus attack, you know? That, that's how I like to think of it. When it comes down, you go, grab beats it. Or like honestly, it's safer. It's actually easier.